Hey, what's up guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And today guys, what I want to talk to you guys about is the brand new loyalty program that EA Sports Mutt tweeted out today. Now, as you guys can see actually over here, excuse me, um, <laughs> we have a couple of different icons on the screen. We have three different levels for the rewards uh, for Madden 16. Now, this is actually based off of the packs that you opened in Madden 15, which is kind of cool because what it does is it kind of promotes people to continue playing this game or at least to start playing this game prior to Madden 16. So for those of us who have played quite a bit of Madden 15, we're going to have a little bit of an advantage, it maybe sounds like, going into Madden 16. Maybe we'll be able to get some extra stuff. I don't know exactly what they're going to actually give out yet, but as you guys can see on your screen there, the legend level of uh, of the um, rewards levels is actually based off of the amount of packs that you open. You need to open up a thousand total packs in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. Now it says any kind of packs. So that could mean, as far as I understand, it could mean anything. So that could be like your, your badge packs when we had those. It could be, I mean, obviously pro packs, any sort of promotional packs, legend packs, premium packs, any of that kind of stuff, all pro packs. Um, it could even be stuff like a large quick sell pack. All of these types of things, I, as far as I understand it, would apply. So it, it's interesting that that is actually in the game. Uh, because to me a thousand packs really shouldn't be that hard to do throughout the entirety of Madden 15 Ultimate Team. Now, if you are somebody who's, you know, let's say not a YouTuber or somebody who's fairly new to the Madden 15 scene, maybe you've only been playing for a couple of months now, maybe you haven't opened up a thousand packs yet, I do have a suggestion for you. And I'm going to get to that at the end of the video after I break down a couple of these uh, other areas as well. Um, so I, I, again, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to how I think you guys can get to that legend level pretty quickly and pretty cheap, all things considered. Now, uh, looking at the other levels, we've got the all pro level, meaning that you've opened up 250 packs, so that shouldn't be too hard to do. Uh, and then the last one, the pro level, 50 packs of any kind. Pretty much everybody who signed up should be able to do that. Now, if you guys are interested in in joining this rewards program, I will will leave a link in the description below. That should be an easy way for you guys to go over there onto the EA Sports website, sign up, and get your uh, your awards for Madden 16 when that comes out. Now, I mentioned before that I have a way for you guys that I think that might be a pretty cheap way for you to actually get to the legend level or to whatever level that you're interested in getting to. If you're brand new to Madden 15, you you know you haven't played it at all, maybe you can only get to the, the, um, the uh, pro level or maybe even the all pro level. But uh, for those of us that have been playing throughout the year and maybe we're close to or, um, or or maybe we're not even close to the legend level, but we still want to make it to that before Madden 16 comes out, let me go over here and show you guys what I'm talking about. And here we go, guys. So uh, we're back in Madden 15 Ultimate Team, and I'm just going to quick show you what I think might be the easiest way for you guys to actually get to that level to whatever one you want to get to if you want to get to the legend level again you need to open up a thousand packs so it's quite a few what i'm going to show you guys right here is something that i think a lot of people are going to forget about because a lot of people are going to sit and try and open up things like the pro packs the premium packs you know go in here and buy a bundle you know something like that don't do that that's a bad idea here's what i'm going to suggest go over here into the packs section and go ahead and open up these rookie packs they're only 2,500 coins, so they're going to be one-third the price of a pro pack, and uh, they're, you know, roughly one-tenth the price of a premium pack. So these things you can open up for super cheap. I'm just going to show you real quick. Obviously, there's not really anything good that you're typically going to get in any of these, although sometimes you will actually open up a silver, a rare silver that might be worth something. But uh, for the most part, you're not really going to get anything in these packs, which is kind of unfortunate. But you're only spending 2,500 coins on them. So that's really not too bad. You can go ahead and quick sell these things. Um, I'm obviously, I have a few things here on the auction block that I sold. I was selling some silver badges, so I apologize. Um, but of course, again, go back in here and purchase some rookie packs, guys. Because these things are super, super cheap. And they will get you to that level very, very quickly. Even if you needed all 1,000, let's say you didn't open up any packs throughout the year. It would cost you, what, 2.5 million, I believe is the number. If I, if I did the math correctly, uh, to be able to do the, uh, to get a thousand packs purchased at 2,500 coins each. So, I mean, that's a lot, obviously, but, you know, most of us have opened up packs throughout the year. 
So let's say you're only, you know, 100 away, for example. You're only going to be talking about, you know, 250,000 coins, which, it, it, don't get me wrong, is a lot, but it's not really that many. And also, if you think about it, again, in 100 packs, you could probably open up at least one rare silver to help you pay for, you know, additional packs down the road. So it's something to think about anyway, guys. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know about that if you weren't thinking about it. And also, keep in mind, too, like I said before, it does sound like that they are going to allow you to uh, to take into consideration all the packs that you've done throughout the year. So even if, even if it's things like um, the 4th of July sets, for example, if you got a pack in those, I know there were a whole bunch of packs that came out with the um, with the Thanksgiving sets, for example. So all of those types of things will count. So be sure to keep all that in mind when you're considering how many packs you might need to open up to actually get to that legend legendary level. Thanks again, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, of course, please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you guys again, and I will talk to you again soon.